Now it doesn't matter how great a rider you are, you will at some point crash. It could be a small crash into the bushes or it could be the biggest crash of your life. However, you will be glad of wearing some sort of protection to protect you. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing today, talking you through all the different choices of keeping you safe out on the trails. Firstly, the level of protection that you choose to wear is largely dictated by the type of riding that you do. Gravity style riding possibly warrants more armor and protection than say going out for a cross country or leisure style ride. And it's also dictated by the climate that you ride in, particularly when it comes to glove choice or maybe regulation. Say for instance, if you're riding the Enduro World Series, then they require you to wear a certain degree of protection. When it comes to protection, it's often a case of fine tuning it as to what you need for your style of riding. For instance, our partner G-Form offer a wide range of knee pads that will be dictated to a certain style of riding. And similarly with our helmets from Bell, they do a different style of helmet for every style of riding out there. But the information in this video is cross-relatable to all different brands. So that choice is ultimately up to you. Out of all the protection you choose to wear on your e-mountain bike, I suggest knee pads are probably one of the most important. And if I was to choose only one, the knee pad would be it. Now, knee pad choice is largely dictated by the type of riding that you do. If you're into riding downhill or maybe bike parks, then you probably want a knee pad that looks pretty similar to this. Now, this is the E-Line from G-Form, and this has a harder outer shell to protect you from all the rocks and roots to protect your knee. And inside that pad, you have the Smart Flex compound, which hardens up and cushions your knee from the actual blow that you get. Now looking at the pad itself, now these come in a wide range of sizes from small all the way up to large and XL, so they suit different leg style sizes. You have an adjustable band on the top and the bottom of the pad, meaning you can adjust that uh, and really dial in that fit for comfort. And looking inside the pad itself, you have a neoprene band at the top. Now this is to stop the pad actually sliding down your leg in the event of a crash or just general riding. And a real neat touch about these pads is you've actually got a zip closure, meaning you can take this pad off, say for instance, in a wet car park without taking your shoes off, meaning you don't have to hop around like a one-legged baboon in the car park. And if you're into trail riding, maybe with the odd gnarly section or jumps, things like that, you could get away with a lighter weight pad. Something like this Pro Rugged 2 pad from G-Form would be a really great option. It's very lightweight, it's very breathable, and it can take the bigger hits. And also you've got that decent neoprene band to stop it slipping down. This could definitely be an option if you want something offering a little bit less protection than that full-on knee pad. You can get protective undershorts. Now these things are great. They come in a wide range of different sizes and they give you really great hip protection for when you go smashing into the ground, maybe onto rocks or rolling around in the bushes. And they're often combined with a padded liner inside of the shorts. So you've got a bit of comfort going on as well as that great protection. Now these are the Pro X3 shorts from G-Form. Now they have that smart flex padding on the outer, meaning that's gonna be nice and flexible, which hardens up as soon as you hit that. And again, on that inside, you've got that chamois kind of liner offering great comfort for when you're out on those bigger rides. Most gloves come in full finger models these days and there's lots of different options as to how much protection you get from your glove. Also how thick the palms are. You also need to think about summer or winter gloves and the protection that you get on the outer of the glove can vary. You can get some gloves with like carbon fiber knuckles or finger protection or you can get very minimal options which are very lightweight and also very breathable. So this is an example from G-Form. This is the Moab glove. Now this is a great mixture of pretty much everything you want from a glove. On the bottom of it, it's got a one-piece suede palm. So that leaves me feeling very connected to the bike and also gives me some great protection too. On the outer of the glove, you've got these smart flex fingers, which is gonna give you a bit of protection if you go smacking into rocks or uh, anything else on the side of the trail. And also a very lightweight material on the upper of the glove, allowing it to be very breathable. And also they have this elasticated cuff on them, which makes them very, very simple to take on and off. 
And when it comes to summer and winter riding, you definitely want a couple of different gloves here. For summer, you want a very lightweight, breathable glove that's gonna give you good grip on the palms and let that air flow through nicely. And for winter, pretty much you want the opposite. You want something that a little bit fatter, which is gonna keep your fingers nice and warm. Uh, but the palm, still keep it nice and thin. You don't wanna feel all bulked up on the ride. You just wanna keep those fingers warm and keep that blood circulating. So definitely think about getting a couple of different options of gloves when it comes to riding all year round. The clothing you choose to wear will be suited to the discipline that you're riding and also the climate that you're riding in. If you're into more graffiti style stuff, then a long sleeve race jersey will be way more appropriate than a short sleeve cross country style top. Things like tech t-shirts are great at wicking the sweat away and keeping you dry out on those sweaty rides too. For your lower body, trousers will give the utmost protection if you're into riding downhill or even just for trail riding. They will protect you from that trailside vegetation when it wants to wrap itself around your leg. However, if it's hot and you want that little bit more freedom for pedaling miles, then a dedicated riding short will keep you cool and comfy. And we have all of this kit in the EMBN shop. Now, if you're looking at protecting your upper body, you're going to want something like this protective vest from G-Form. Now, this is the MX360 Impact shirt, and as the name suggests, it protects you 360 degrees. Up front, you've got this Smart Flex uh, padding, which is going to protect your rib cage. On your shoulders, you've got some padding too. And of course, at the back, you've got a big protector, which is going to protect your spine. Now, you can wear these things as a base layer. They're super comfy, and they wick away the sweat too. So something like this is definitely going to give you the utmost protection for your upper body. Now the whole protection in this vest is made from some pretty amazing technology. It's called Smart Flex. Now in its normal state, it's very, very flexible, meaning it's super comfy. But as soon as it detects an impact, it hardens up and protects you from that hit. Now this whole vest is pretty breathable. It's very lightweight, but it is machine washable. If you do get it pretty sweaty and it starts smelling a little bit, you can just chuck it in your washing machine, no problem. And when it comes to upper body armor, I definitely advise it if you are pushing your limits or working outside of your comfort zone. Another part of your body that can take a massive impact when it comes to some of those bigger crashes are gonna be your elbows. Now, the way that we offer your elbows some protection is in the form of an elbow pad. These are the E-Line elbow pads. Now these have a protective outer cap on the elbow, meaning it's gonna protect you if you're sliding along from all those rocks and roots, stop you damaging your elbow. And of course, inside that pad, you've got a Smart Flex compound, which is gonna give you really good protection from the impacts too. And the pad itself has a Velcro closure, is very ventilated, super lightweight, and of course, machine washable if they do get a little bit sweaty. If you are pushing your limits or maybe riding some gravity style riding, then I definitely suggest sticking an elbow pad on. It's just gonna up your confidence and of course give you some protection if you do go sliding down the track. Now when it comes to elbow pads, you do have a couple of different options. You have the harder shell uh, ones like this, or you can get some lightweight trail riding options, which are more designed to give you uh, protection from abrasion rather than impact. So you really need to fine tune as to what you want from your elbow pad. Something else that definitely needs protection when you're out riding on the trails is going to be your eyes. Now, you only get one set of eyes in your whole lifetime, so it's important that you protect them. And the way that we do this is either with goggles such as these or a riding glass. Now, there's a big distinct difference between the two. Now, if you're into riding gravity style riding or even enduro style riding, a goggle is definitely going to give you the utmost protection for your eyes. However, if you're out just normal trail riding or cross country style, they can get quite hot and they definitely do mist up in some bad conditions. So you definitely need to think about what you require from your eyewear. Alternative to these is a set of riding glasses. Now these are super lightweight, normally wore with a trail style riding helmet like this one. Give you great protection too, super lightweight, and they tend to have a little bit better ventilation over the goggles. So you definitely need to choose wisely when it comes to eye protection. And lastly, let's not forget about protecting our heads too. Now you have two different types of helmet here. You have the open face or trail helmet, and of course the full face too. Now the trail lid is the, is the helmet that the majority of riders are definitely gonna be wearing. It gives great vision, it has great ventilation, and it's also very lightweight. And features to be looking out for when it comes to a trail helmet is an adjustable peak that you can move up and down, uh, good ventilation, lightweight, 
And of course, inside the helmet, you've got the adjustable cradle on the back of the helmet, and some of the helmets will actually have MIPS. Now, MIPS allows the helmet to rotate when it comes to that impact of the head. Um, also, extra features such as camera mounts, light mounts, things like that, all adds up to a quality trail helmet. And when it comes to full face helmets, you have a couple of different options here too. You have the fixed chin bar design, which is more likely to be worn at bike parks and downhill races, or you have the half helmet, which has a removable chin bar. So it converts into a half shell helmet or a full face just in a, with a couple of clicks and a movement of a couple of levers. With the full face helmet, it's gonna give you the ultimate protection if you do get involved in a big crash. The downsides to these are they can be quite hot, and they can be quite heavy, and also the ventilation and the vision isn't as great as the open face helmet. Also bear in mind that you need a full face helmet to ride at some bike parks and even some races. And with helmets, once again, it's really fine-tuned as to what you want from your protection, whether you want to go for the utmost protection, you want to meet in the middle, or go for that open face kind of a helmet for that general trail riding. So there you go, a look at all the protection you should be wearing out there on your e-mountain bike, but I'd love to hear what you wear when you go out riding. Get involved in the comments down below as ever. Let us know the kit that you're wearing when you're out there shredding the trails. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe to us here on EMBN to make sure you're not missing out on any content. And whilst you're there subscribing, get in the merch shop to check out all this latest new kit.